welcome to Angling for You. Join me today at Tom's Pond on the uh, the, the top of the two ponds. Of two uh, ponds that they have on the venue. Uh, there's one when you come into the left of your car park, and there's one just over the, the hill, which is the one we're on today. Uh, the peg I've picked out today is uh, peg number 10. To be honest, it's, it's brilliant. Um, there's lots and lots of features everywhere as you can see obviously there's there's loads of different islands and fish points uh, fish holding points um, which makes it a really fun and interesting venue to to fish i've never fished peg 10 uh, before to be honest i saw the wind coming towards into this corner so that's why i've pegged uh, pegged myself down here um i've got two different approaches i'm really going to do uh, maybe they'll come shallow later on and we can have a look at that if if that happens but i've got um mainly going to look at features today and, and finding features and you know what advantages they can have it's an afternoon session it's a really good time of the day to to come from look for features <coughs> so saying that on my left hand side uh, i have uh, what we'd all uh, associate with a margin now instead of uh, being uh, normal and, and, and cutting up right to the margin what i've done is i've, I've found a ledge and it slopes down to sort of three ropes across so um, in line with that it's probably about a foot and a half away from the edge is the bottom of a slope and that's where I've uh, I fed micros and I've fed corn and I've fed some four mil hard pellets so that's what that's one of my attack lines the other attack line is um, straight over to uh, to my right and it's like a little uh, island bush and uh, I'm hoping that it's going to hold some of the, the legendary uh, uh, mini barbel that are in here um, and also maybe some, the odd carp. The likelihood is we've got a lot of trout in here so we will catch quite a lot of trout. Three main little bits I've got today, I've got some corn, I've got a bit of chopped um, cubed meat and I've also got some expander pellets which we've, uh, we've soaked in a little bit of water. Um, that's really the simplicity in, in his approach today, it's about utilising those features and that's uh, what today's video is going to be about. The plan of attack, I've got um, two kits set up. This one kit is the same depth um, all the way across, so which is great, so there's no point in setting that uh, any different than setting more. The only other one I've got up is a shallow kit in case when I'm feeding fours, just out in front of me, just in case they decide to come shallow. So, as you can see, we've got, um, probably 18 inches of line, and that's uh, we've got a bit of crosswind, and it just allows me to hold that float back. Um, we've got a little of a back shot, um, and I just want to hold that that float steady with that extra bit of line it allows me to not be over the top of the float as well which when you're fishing to a feature um, it can be uh, advantageous to you so as you can see we're looking at about two and a half to three foot well probably two and a half foot there of water depth so a nice a nice depth we've got um, quite a licking wind that's coming across um, so it's gonna it does make it uh, a bit more difficult at times but we've only got about nine meters across to the feature um, and what I've got is a, a small hook link um, of 013 and I've got five number uh, 10 stops just above that and it's about an 8 to 10 inch hook link and then I've got that no shot up the line whatsoever because I want positivity I've got so, uh, a couple of number 10s underneath the shot uh, under the float and the rest of the line I've obviously got that bolt to take it down the float that I've got is a little chimp float and that's brilliant really visual and really easy to see and obviously quite a short float um, for for quick bites and I've dotted that down so it just sits nicely and uh, just uh, just touching bottom uh, with the with the hook and uh, that's uh, 014 um, power line that we've got through uh, for the main line so I've got a little bit of this uh, chopped ham so I've uh, just broke a little bit off I've, uh, I've fed that uh, feed in there so I've just hooked nicked the the, the meat on and uh, what we're going to do is uh, shuffle out there and uh, see what we can get. Fingers crossed there's, uh, there's some barbel out there. I know where uh, people sort of have this thing about trout and they, you know, they don't like catching them. Personally, I, look, I, I, I find it real good fun. And um, the thing with trout is they do, move, they do move about a bit, so it allows you to have to think a little bit sometimes to catch them. So what, what we've done, we've plumbed that up and we're just going to get this meat and just gently lower it in on top. So as of when you fish to a feature, it's a bit like obviously a margin. What I want to do is just gently lower, I've lowered that bait in there just in case there's any fish there straight away. And uh, we're just looking for that, that, that quick bite that pulls under. 
and uh, a very quick bite there so we'll just uh, it's a good sign that there's fish out there so we'll just get a bit of meat a bit more meat on the uh, the only thing with uh, with me he does does is quite an active method and and uh, like expander if you know you're getting a uh, uh, quick or you know brisk bite sometimes you have to strike them and uh, you do you do have to ship back in and out sometimes now you can you can obviously band the meat you can um quick stop the meat as well both really good methods now the difference is i've got um i've not brought meat with me i've uh, one of my friends that's fishing today has got meat so i, I thought i'd uh, give it a little go as there's some barbel about now what what the difference is is we've got chopped ham now chopped ham is not the best um, really for hooking the best um, meat for hooking that I find is polony because it's quite dense and, and, and a little bit rubbery um, and that aids in sort of uh, staying on the hook a bit better uh, with ham is very soft and can be quite difficult to, uh, to keep on the hook so it may be a bit more of a challenge but Nevertheless, we'll give it a go, but ha chopped ham is definitely the number one for um, feed, definitely, because it's full of fat um, and oils, and, and that's great for feeding. Oh, we're into a fish now. It does actually feel a bit like a trout, actually, which doesn't surprise me. I just keep... Let's sort of that uh, tip down low until we can get on that puller kit. Just moved my landing net out of the way a little bit last time when I was trying to get in. There's a little trout. And what you'll find is uh, if you fish anywhere with uh, with uh, with trout is uh, the pr that pretty much eat absolutely anything to trout. Um, But what I will say is, when you uh, when you when you do go to uh, to unhook them, try and get a good firm hold on them because uh, they have uh, they have got teeth, and they will uh, definitely uh, catch you uh, if they get the chance. So obviously that's. Uh, there's some fish down there sat on that feed so let's um let's pop a corn on sometimes uh, it's a little alteration of uh, of baits on i mean the good thing about about tom's pond is that is there's so many different types of fishing in the trout it puts in puts in through winter and you know it makes fantastic sport through the winter but then when the other fish come back on and the carp come back on there's a lot of a uh, head of carp in here and there's a there's a good head of silvers in here as well um just talking to tom this weekend there's a uh, some big match weights um coming out over 100 pound and uh, you know a lot of that are silvers so it's uh, it's really nice to see that Big old trout, that one. now 
just uh, switched, switching between the, the meat and this one's on expander, this one. Right, we're starting to uh, get a few uh, fish from the other side now. I've just had a, a carp, about two and a half pound. Um, so I've had quite a few trout now, um, and I've just had a little bit of a, a little bit of a run of uh, silverfish. So uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a look, at, keep having a look at that side, see if we can get um, sort of a run of fish to go. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll get the net out and sort of see what we've uh, caught. Like I say, we've only been here for for two hours or so, so you know it's not not going to be a bloody hundred pound net. So, but it's uh, it's been great fishing for you know for the the time that we've been here. They've, uh, the left hand margin not really produced uh, today, but that it's always good to have those um, you know those drop on uh, lines where you've just got to. To try them out, but the thing with uh, features is uh, you've uh, you've just you've got to uh, play play the odds. So if there's uh, a few features in your peg, it's always worth checking them out to see. Um, there's no harm in sort of baiting up a couple of them, um, but you tend to never come off feeding fish. So if you, you have you are on them and they are they are you know taking the bait, then stay with them. Um, and don't tend to overfeed them. Uh, I've, that's I think the key today is I've not fed absolutely great amounts. I've probably only put a couple of pots in the whole time I've been here. Um, other than that, and I haven't loose fed any. I mean, it's still not warm. It, you're talking 10 or 12, deg 10 or 12 degrees, it's quick bites, 10 or 12 degrees. So we, we're still not ready for you know sort of big weights of, of of feed going in there there's still definitely fish there like i said i've had a few silvers and they tend to be quite quick right so that that one's uh, an acrobatic trout that's uh, hooked itself and uh, jumped clean out the water and still trying to jump clean out the water it's absolutely uh, on drugs is this one, uh, a bit of a live wire. That's the uh, the fun of catching uh, trout. They uh, sometimes they're a bit suicidal or acrobatic, as this one is definitely uh, an acrobatic one. I think we're going to get another jump out of it if I'm uh, if we're lucky. It's. Uh, Quite a decent sized trout this one. Well, that's a bit better fish. Nice trout is that one. A little bit of a of a, of a tip when uh, when unhooking the trout uh, because obviously obviously they have um, teeth and they do thrash a lot in the net. Sometimes it's it's good to. Uh, just let them calm down a couple of seconds and try and get a, try try and get a firm grip of them um, with uh, using the, the net and get yourself a either a good pair of tongs like I've got or a uh, a good pair of forceps. Right guys, we've had a, a good day. I've had plenty of trout and uh, a, a carp of about three pound and uh, quite a few uh, little silvers as well. So yeah, it's been all right. So obviously you can, you can see fishing to, to features uh, is a, a big part of uh, a lot of this modern day carp and commercial fishing. Um, obviously it's stuffed full of trout uh, this time of year. Uh, Tom um, and uh, 
Steve take them out usually back back end of April. Um, so you, you tend to get a lot more carp after that. But you know, thank you to uh, to uh, Steve especially um, from Tom's Pond. Um, you know, fantastic. Uh, giving us this opportunity to, to film and to, to have nets in, uh, really appreciate that. It's a, an absolutely amazing venue, you, you need to come and, and give it a go for yourself. And it really, really is good fun. Um, I'm going to get the net out now, we'll have a quick look at it and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up. So uh, not, not, not a bad net of fish at all. We've got plenty of trout in there. Some nice, uh, nice carp stuck away in there. Yeah, not, not bad at all for uh, a couple of hours worth of uh, fishing after, after work. So let's get them back here. Let's get them back in. everyone a swimmer so uh, come and join us on the, the Facebook group at angling uh, angling for you and uh, obviously uh, like and subscribe if you can share with your friends and um, also join us on Instagram at angling underscore for you and uh, you know come and meet us we've had a couple of members down that have recently just uh, joined we put it up in the group this morning and really nice to meet those and thank you for them to coming down to give us to meet us and uh, yeah Thanks for, for watching guys and that lines.